next guest graciously opened the gates of Graceland, not once, not twice, but three times, making it possible for Hallmark to film three wonderful movies inside the home that she once shared with Elvis. She is here today to tell us all about another very special event coming up at the King's Home. Please welcome back our beautiful friend, inside and out, the one and only Priscilla Presley. Yes. 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 Thank you. Very exciting. It feels like home. It is Good. home. Good. It, we, we open our doors to you as much as you oh, open them to us. You. I mean, you have been thank so you. kind to allow us into your home the first time ever you've let anyone film in there for a movie, which has been a dream come true for us here at Hallmark. And what you're doing at that at Graceland now is really a dream come true for you. Tell us about the second annual Southern Style Weekend that's coming up. Yes, yes, our first one was in September, and now here we are in March, we're doing another one, uh, which uh, uh, it's like popular in popular demand here. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it was so successful and so much fun. And I think that, you know, what I loved about it is um, just like with Hallmark, you know, you have your fans and, and, and the fans all become friends. They all know each other. And it's just a, a, a one big family. And that's what's happened, um, even with this elegant Southern style. Um, I got to meet so many people myself and knowing their names and hanging out with them and eating, you know, having dinner with them. That's being cooked by our chefs. And, and it's just up close and personal. You do, that is incredible. It's celebrating everything Southern. It is everything, everything Southern, absolutely. And again, this was, it, this was actually uh, started because um, you know Elvis always left the, the movie industry, even when he recorded, went back to Graceland, always, and he never really went anywhere else. He went back to his roots. Yeah. So I wanted to share all that with his fans and with people who, of course, want to come and and understand why he went back to his roots. Right and talk about the things that he loved, and this is exactly what we're doing. But this this time, uh, we're having a stylist come on, wardrobe stylist, Tap. which of course we all know about here. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about style and, and how, how it feels, you know, when you know how in your wardrobe, what to wear and how to wear it, and what's in, what's out, if there's a, any such thing, because I like to throw things together right. anyway. But it, people love that. They love that attention right. and loving to, to learn along. And I'm learning myself. So I'm right there in the mix with everyone. It's, it's so my fun. panel, but it's all about it's all about the audience and bringing them in. And community. And community. And Deb, could you right. imagine being a fan of Elvis, being a fan of, of Priscilla's and going to this and being up close and personal, hanging out with Priscilla Presley? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, can hardly believe that we're sitting it. here with you right now. No, but it's true, <laughs> it's true. People love it like crazy. So you, I know you enjoyed that aspect of it, but I also happen to know that you enjoyed a little dancing as well. And the reason oh. I know that <laughs> is because we have some footage. Take a look at this. Oh, this yes. is... <laughs> Oh, so this is part of the this is part of the weekend. This is part of the weekend. This Looks is great. Wait, we're all learning how to line dance here. And Jim Norton, who is our wonderful, oh my God. Jim Norton, the, we know Jim very yes. well. Yes. We on the show. That's Jim Norton. Talk about a Southern gentleman. Absolutely. You guys oh, are we both love fantastic. Jim. We have become very, very close, very good friends, and he is teaching me so much. But he, I mean, he knows how to set a table like you cannot believe. So it's things like this that people learn and they ask questions and and uh, I'll hang out. We're going on a cruise on the uh, on the Mississippi River and having dinner. Uh, so the fans will also the, fall, the fans will do that with us. And listen, it's fun for me. I'm I'm having so much fun with this, and I think the people really enjoyed it. It's my first time to really be up close and personal in this in this way. Yeah. Most people just say hi, and we say hi, but now it's like. One big family. Uh, one of them, one of the best parts for you, from what I understand, is the fact that you have on your panel the woman that actually helped you learn how to do your own makeup yes. back when you were 18 years old. So is going to be cool. on the panel. Yes. Because we have a little sort of, in a sense, before and after of the look of some of your makeup. So we got a photo oh, here dear. when you were just 14 years old. That oh is gosh, beautiful Priscilla. Priscilla in Germany, where she was living at the time. Got and then also, model. so how did working um, with this woman, how did it help you change your look? Well, I went to finishing school. It was called Patricia Stevens Finishing there School in Memphis. And the girls back in the day, that's what they did. When you're a young girl, you went to finishing school. So she was uh, teaching how to apply makeup. Now, when I made a big mistake when I said, you know, I started wearing makeup when I was 18. It wasn't foundation. It was eye makeup. Okay. I didn't start putting foundation on until in my 40s, believe it or not. Is that so, right? Absolutely, because I mean, I've, been, skin. I, I've had skin. I've been very lucky with with my, my mother has great skin, so I obviously got it from her. But eye makeup I loved, 
And I actually first had my redo when um, Elvis brought me to Las Vegas, actually. So I was only 17 at the time. And he had Armando come in and apply my eye makeup. But Elvis even, sometimes, you know, he said that the eyes have it and they're so expressive. When he was um, very young, he was an usher at the, one of the theaters in Memphis. And he would study all the art, uh, actors who, you know, kind of had their longevity. Uh, Tony Curtis won. Sure. Uh, Tony Curtis taught him how to put a little eye, black eyeliner just a little bit above his eye. And that was a trick. It. Yes, back in the day for that men as well. Yeah, they still so, do it today. Yeah, and you, you could see, if you look at him, you just see a little bit of shadow there. And he just thought it was great. He loved the art of, 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 you know, transitioning from, you know, what he saw as, you know, realistic to him. And then, of course, a little bit more adding, uh, um, gave it that punch. So he, he, when I said he loved makeup, I meant he loved eye makeup. He just sure. thought it was great. It brought, it's brought it brought it's all part stories. of the thing with the costumes. And, I mean, he was the And dressing. I mean, he loved dressing, too. Yeah. And again, that's all part of uh, the elegant um uh, Southern style women still dress up, you sure. know, when we were always taught, you know, even when you went to the grocery store that you dress because you feel better. You feel better dressed. When you're dressing down, you feel down. It's true. And if you're always looking your best, you feel good about yourself. Well, speaking of looking your best, you've never looked anything but your best through all the decades. So it's very fitting that you're hosting this weekend. And as I was looking back at some of your photos, your clothes are just phenomenal. And I couldn't, I kept trying to choose, like, which decade do I love Priscilla the most? If you had to choose a decade, what would you say was your, your favorite decade for clothing? I would say the 70s. I love the 70s. Nice. For me, it was like, it was more coming out. And, and I had my own uh, boutique at that time with my partner, Olivia. And we just designed and had very feminine things. We took, um, oh, we took the, the jean outfit I had. We actually put appliques on, rhinestones on. We were one of the first uh, boutiques that, um, we're, doing that, that. we're doing that, yes. Oh, gosh. Very flowy clothes, very feminine. Yes. Where you've so done beautiful. so many incredible things uh, through your life, through your career, an incredible uh, businesswoman and actress and so many other things as well. But you say no matter what's going on, no matter what you have going on, keeping Elvis's dreams alive will always be a top priority. So please tell us about Agent King. <laughs> well, thank you for asking. Yes, <laughs> yes. for sure. Um, Netflix just green greenlit it, so we're all excited. Right now we're looking for a voice. Uh, that would be Elvis's voice. We have a pretty good list of uh, males who want to be his voice, so we're checking that out now as we speak. I can't say who they are. No, no, are. that's okay. Oh it's an animated show, though, is what yeah, you're saying. It is an animated show, And, yes. and the uh, the character Elvis yep. is going to be, there's a little twist Secret though. agent. Yeah. Agent King, he is an agent. And he's also an entertainer, but he gets all of his... Um, he gets uh, he gets all of his, uh, uh, um, how should I say, official... Um, spy status? Spy, yes, spy status from Washington. <laughs> so, uh, but he can't tell anyone. No one knows it's him. Uh, he has the mystery train that he travels on uh, with his cook and with all the guys, you know, all the ammunition. <laughs> oh, my God, that's like that's a so dream good. come true. I can't wait. So needless to say... Elvis would be proud. Yeah, he I would. mean, oh, and, he'd, yeah, he'd be very excited about this. And talk about that's a that's a huge pressure on whoever the actor is going to be because you know yeah. that voice. Yeah. you get to choose, so oh, you'll yeah. know it. You'll yeah. know when you hear yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much, Thanks Priscilla, for, so for everything. Thank we love you. it the when you were here. Thank, Thank you so you. much again. And we are happy to announce that a brand new Hallmark Channel Christmas movie is in the works yes. once again, being filmed at Graceland. Thank you, Priscilla, for that. And you all can catch it this holiday season, of course, on Hallmark Channel. Now, in the meantime, Priscilla's elegant Southern Style Weekend Spring Edition is happening March 13th through the 15th. For your tickets and more, you can go to Graceland.com.